Most Asian people like eating very hot. Chilies bring spiciness, but that's not all. They also bring a lot of flavors to the dishes. They'll enhance the dishes. Without chili, many would find the dishes bland. Sometimes, chili are part of the ingredients of the recipe. Sometimes, they are added when eating the dish. In fact, they are almost always present in Asian cuisine. When I arrived in France at the school canteen with my brothers, we used to secretly add the chili powder to the dish itself because we found them too bland. The widely used and very hot chilies are small, often called burst eye chilies. We buy them fresh. The most used are long red or green. There are the classics, the most sold. You can also easily find some mini chilies, sometimes called kinu, mouse poop, and also the small rounded chilies. The latter two are more common in Southeast Asia. On the Scoville scale, which classify chilies according to their degree of hotness, these burst eye chilies are much stronger than the Tabasco paper. You can keep them in the fridge for three to four weeks or longer in the freezer. In Laos and Thailand, it is normal to put a good quantity of them in green papaya salad, in soups, in laps. Some people bite them as an accompaniment to fur soup. They are also used in dipping sauces and condiments. In some recipes, we use chili that has had a preservation process. As a result of this process, the chili has a different aroma than the fresh one. And this is what is interesting. The dry chili flakes are widely used. There is a sweet or hot version. You will find it in Pad Thai Lap The dry chili powder is also very present. There is also sweet or hot version. All dry papers are also very appreciated. A large dry papers are sweet. They bring a lot of flavor without spiciness. We rehydrate them, chop them, and crush them to release their fragrance as much as possible. They are used in the recipes of pig pow, red curry, Whole dried burst eye chilies are very hot. To make dry chilies at home, hang them from months away from direct light. Chili paste is also widely used. It is composed of chili, garlic, salt, vinegar. Include it in stir fry dishes or mix it with other sauces. It is often used in the making of sweet and sour dishes. It is much less spicy than the African chili paste. We add it in the bobun, <laughs> shiny sweet and sour soup, general so chicken, the sate paste contains chili it allows to make a delicious and slightly spicy dishes in minutes with few ingredients. For example, beef, pork, tofu, vegetable. The silasha sauce is an essential condiment for chili lovers. It spices up meatballs, 
green meat, dim sum, and even for soup. Chili oil is another must-have ingredient in the cupboard. It is made from chili flakes combined with very hot oil. We like to add it to soups or to stir-fry noodle dishes. Burst oil chilies in pickle have a very different flavor and the reduced spiciness. When the jar is opened, a sun comes out that wastes the appetite. They are often eaten with noodles. Japanese chichimi is composed of seven spices including chili. It is a condiment that is sprinkled on some dishes. In Korean dishes, gochigari, chili powder, and gochichang, chili paste, are used a lot. They are combined with other ingredients to make a seasoning sauce, a condiment, or a marinade. They are not very hot. The best way to store gochigari powder is to put it in the freezer. If you want to reduce the degree of spiciness of fresh chilies, you can remove the membranes and seeds. You can also find low and not hot chili varieties that you can use as substitute for hot chilies. You will find sweet chili. Check when buying them that they are really sweet. Some are closer to papers. Some of the small ones look like hot chilies. All the sweet chilies have an elongated horn shape. The vegetarian chili is not hot at all but it does provide a powerful and delicious scent of chili. Finally, to give a nice red orange chili color to a dish, you can use annatto seeds, they are not hot at all. To reveal their color, they should be soaked in very hot oil. In the West, to make Asian recipes, we use less chilies than in Asia, but we like to find the aromas in recipes more than their spiciness. In my cuisine, when I don't want to make a spicy dish, I use a lot of sweet chili powder or flake, sweet fresh chilies, large whole dry chili, Korean chili powder, and vegetarian chilies.